Okay, the last thing I want to talk about relating to strings and variables and that sort of thing is something called escape characters. So let's erase this and create my variable and let's make it a string, put our semicolon at the end and let's make this, let's say, and then she said to me, quote, you're ugly, quote. Well, let's save this and hit reload. And oh man, we've got all kinds of errors. What happened here? Well, what I wanted to do was create a string that had quotation marks in it. So I wanted quotation marks to appear on the screen because she said something to me and I wanted the things she said to be in quotation marks. The problem is when we create a variable and a string, we start it with a quotation mark and we end it with a quotation mark. So what happens was is PHP started out with this quotation mark. It said, okay, all this stuff is in the variable. Then it got to this quotation mark and it thought we wanted to end our string, but we don't want to end our string. We wanted it to keep going. And so then you see we have this sort of double quotation mark thing here at the end and everything's all messed up. So what do we do to, to fix this problem? Well, it's very simple. We use something called an escape character. And in PHP's case, the escape character is the backslash. So we backslash, we put a backslash in front of this quotation mark and this quotation mark. And then it ends with the quotation mark that ends our string. Right, so now if we save this, I'll come back and hit reload, something has gone horribly wrong. Oh, we need to echo out my var, so let's do that, save that, come back here. Okay, so, and then she said to me, you're ugly. So what we've got here is quotation marks, they showed up here because we escaped them out. Now, there are different things in PHP that are gonna throw up errors that you're gonna need to escape out. See right here, Sometimes these single quotation marks, you'll, you might have to escape those out too. For instance, up until now, we've been using double quotation marks to declare our variables, but you could also use single quotation marks. And in this case, if we do that, we're gonna get an error. Boom, error. Because now within this thing, there's a single quotation mark for the apostrophe, uh, apostrophe for your. So we need to escape that out. We save this and now we have our escape characters are showing because we don't need to escape out the double quotation marks because we're not using double quotation marks anymore. So a little, a little tricky, a little complicated, but, but not too bad. Save this and now every, everything's working okay. Now, why would you want to use single versus double quotation marks? Well, there's different reasons and sort of more of an advanced topic. We'll talk about those things as we move along. For the most part, we're gonna to wanna to stick with the regular single or regular double quotation marks. So we would escape out our regular quotation marks. And one of the reasons why is because double quotation marks allow you to do multi multi-line things. So if we save this, reload, everything stays the same. Well, except for this. go <laughs> boom why would we want multi-line sort of things well if there's a whole lot of text you know and we're typing and we're typing and we're typing and we're typing and it starts to go off the screen and we that's kind of hard to, to deal with so we might want to put this on multi lines save this it all shows up as one line when you when you run it but for the sake of writing our code and keeping things easier to, to see and to visualize, doing multi-lines in this instance is a good idea. And quotation marks allow you to do that. So that's why I always use quotation marks for the most part when dealing with variables. But escape character is the thing you need to remember. A lot of times if your code is throwing up errors, you've just forgotten to escape out certain characters and that's just the, the backslash so that's all for this video and if you want to get my entire php course absolutely free head over to codemy.com slash free php that's codemy.com slash free php